keep it secret, it's different bills Hey, don't put them in, you need it, I got it listed, yeah You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah Went from the finish to making bills like a prospect Flow space and slashes to catching this with a lot threat You keep the medals cause the red one's coming up next Only scratch the surface, still they try to drag my name in dirt They try to bring me down, see me win, you ain't like me Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, right? Today we have the pass first four, a really versatile build, but before we get into the video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. Liking up the video will definitely push the video to the recommended, and of course, subscribing will put you on Odie Gang for my daily double uploads, right? Now let's get straight into this video. So obviously, be calling the four, you definitely wanna go power forward. Doesn't matter if you're left or right-handed. I just like going left-handed because I'm left-handed IRL. Um, then what you want to do here is this. You want to go 6'10 on the height so you can get those big man contact dunks. Drop your weight to 245 and you want to max your wingspan all the way out. Okay? Body type, I just went to fine with this. All right? Then what you want to do here is you want to go 85 on your close shot. And you know why. I just love going, getting that fearless finisher. Um, and the fearless finisher on gold, masher, and of course fast twitch on gold also. Driving layup go to 70 because that's gonna give you the dominant big man layup package And it's a good layup package to where you don't really have to worry about going any higher than that um, Driving dunk we go 75 because I just love getting that Giannis dunk package It's extremely good especially when you're not looking to try to get contact dunks other than big man contact dunks And that's what we're getting here. We're getting the 80 driving dunk I mean the 80 standing dunk so we can barely get the pro big man contact dunks and then this, to top it off the versatility of this build Let's go 70 post control now we'll give you gold post band technician bronze back down punisher silver um, um drop stepper and dream shake all right then what we want to do here is go 78 on your mid-range and then 79 on your three ball all right and then you want to go ahead and go 71 on your free throw so basically as you see right here as a primary dribbling build or just a catch and shoot type build you're gonna have mini musician space creator on gold you get catch and shoot and blinders on silver you also get green machine on silver and then a good one here is volume shooter and amp will also be hall of fame and gold respectfully but this is when things is really good because you're able to go 86 on your pass accuracy go all the way up to 80 on your ball handle and what makes this really important is that now with the 80 ball handle not only are you able to get pro um, dribble animations but now you get up to the 80 tier and get all those 80 dribble tier animations which again you are over 610 so some of them you won't be able to have but it's dope to be able to have not only the attribute of 80 so you can dribble a little bit more crisp but you're also able to get some better dribble animations you also want to max out your speed with ball because that's going to give you 20 playmaking badge points to work with and it's pretty dope because you'll be able to get high, um, hyperdrive you get killer combos, clamp breaker, quick first step, and then of course you get unpluckable as a silver badge. But regardless, you'll have more than enough badges to be able to get everything that you would need, okay? Now, defensively is actually pretty strong too. 84 on the interior defense, 78 on your um, perimeter and your steel. And the 78 steel would just give you interceptor on silver as a tier one badge, so that's good to have. 87 on your block for the anchor on silver then you want to go 65 on your offensive rebound 85 on your defensive that will give you rebound chaser on silver also but you have 24 defensive badge points to work with which is insane in my opinion and then you have 75 speed don't need to worry about acceleration here 59 on your strength you also want to go 75 on your vert and of course we'll top it off with that 90 stamina so what you're looking at is a really good lineup of 19 19 20 and 24 really 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 good build if you ask me because of what you can get with so many badges that you have it can do it all it gets um, standing contact dunks the Giannis dunk package dominant big man layup package it can obviously shoot it can iso and dribble very high pass accuracy with that pass accuracy gives you hall of fame passing badges hall of fame break starter diamond and post playmaker and of course defensively you get the ones that are very important you get a rebound chaser you get an anchor you also have ability to play some perimeter defense and on ball still so it's solid all the way around um you have options of shot creating sharp playmaking and rim take when this instance i will probably go ahead and go paint intimidation and then i will go with something like a limitless threes or a spot up because you know this is really good for like a pick and pop type build but again, it's your preference here. There's no right or wrong answer, but I would probably go paint intimidation, spot of precision. There's not anything else here good unless you're trying to do something 
with um you know like in rec and you want to try to do like a team boost or to take over usually you kind of use that for the point guards but this is also a good um, option to have too okay and then um here you have it my nephews and nieces a very rare build i have not seen anybody with this build in the park so let me know if you have this build because i definitely would be interested to see how it would pan out if i was to run on it right but there you have the pass first four right so now what we're going to do is this we're going to test this build out real quick we're going to get to 99 and of course we will then get you out of here so this max is out here um what you want to do here is go fearless finisher bronze um get that postman technician you want to get that back down punisher um drop stepper also so that's what five six seven eight so then let's go ahead and get slithery that's nine uh, i guess we can get fearless finisher then that's ten so then here what we want to do is get our fast twitch here get that and then our rise up we get that that's six at least are three more we're not really worried about post visor because obviously we're not getting we're not trying to get those contact dunks we're just more so worried about being able to finish around the basket so then we can probably go here so do we have everything that we need yeah so then this last one i probably would just go i mean oh we can go dream shake all right duh dream shake is good too it stuns all right so we'll go this so as you can see you have everything you need here all right it's just good that a tier three post riser had to be down there so we're not worried about those contact dunks and then of course you have here you want to go with that mini musician in that space creator to work in that post to do those fades you also want to get here so that's 10 get your blinders all right and then of course catch and shoot so you have that so as you can see this build is just really 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 good all the way around and then oh then we can get claymore also all right so there's nothing this build can't do like it's going to be pretty toxic um and then again now you have the dribbling ability clamps handles for days hyperdrive all right killer combos all right quick first step uh let's make sure we have enough here okay so let's make sure we get unpluckable um here core that and then we still have nine left over we get our oh break starter and um, vice grip and we're gucci all right so again like i said man pretty toxic if you ask me what this thing can do um it's just a very fun build as you can see it's just gonna be a fun build um really gonna have a lot of fun with something like this that's eight let's see oh you go here that's ten then of course you want to get anchor rebound chaser at least with eight left over we can either do challenger we can still do challenger and bronze outwork um we'll get glove because obviously we do have a 78 still and then we'll get the rest with workhorse so everything kind of pans out great um just can't ask for a better build the versatility of a build like this look at the badges and remember you're going to have four badge points that you get off rip from doing your quest then you can have up to two additional which will make six for hitting level 39 in season one and two and then of course in season three you have the core setup so there's so many games that you can utilize to make this build even more toxic but there you have it my nephews and nieces this is the past first four hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did just make sure you drop a like you subscribe to the channel and as usual, your favorite old head uncle demi i'll be back really really soon with another banger man you know when i say I'll be back soon with another banger you know exactly what i'm talking about i'm talking about tomorrow man i'm out